Welcome everyone to the Proven Knowledge Podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Church. I'm a music producer from Northeast Ohio. I began this weekly interview series to give you different perspectives on how to approach a career in the field from different artists, producers, engineers, and other great minds who share their stories on not only what's made them succeed, but also what has shaped them into the people that they are today. I hope you gain some real proven knowledge from the show and that it helps elevate you and your endeavors on your own journey towards success as well. Let's get into it. Welcome everyone to episode 162 here on the Proven Knowledge Podcast. This is the Creator Series. Today I welcomed an artist from Lagos, Nigeria. His name is Feng Sung Child. We actually connected um, via a mutual friend and I had the opportunity to talk with him this week. Really love the positive message that was given on this episode. Um, we talked about him just building his consistency. He's released two projects this year plus a single recently talked about you know doing some live performances coming up as well as releasing more music and just the importance of you know finding his voice as an artist and continuing to push forward and really just give people um positive vibes through the music um his overall messages of you know how to live life in general i think were great especially at the end when you hear you know the last few questions i always ask are you know the 10-year questions and the words of wisdom and I really, you know, got inspired myself by his answers about just continuing to add a little positivity to the world every single day, no matter if, you know, you're just doing the most simple acts, uh, surrounding yourself with like-minded people and just continuing to push forward even during the tough times, kind of get yourself to a place where you feel good about life in general. Um, because like he said in this episode, you know, at the end of the day, we all uh, aren't here forever. We all have, you know, limited time to do the things we love to do. And I really enjoyed that more than anything. And I think he's going to be doing a lot of great things moving forward, helping the next generation as well as continuing his own journey in music. So I thank him for his time today. And without further ado, let's get into this episode. So how you been? Yeah. I've been good. How you doing? That's awesome, man. I, well, I'm happy to have you on here, man, because I know that, you know, we had a mutual connection um, and, you know, she reached out to me and said you were looking for podcasts. So I'm happy to have you here. Um, and to start off every episode, we kind of have the guests give some background. You know, how did you get into music? Um, you know, how long have you been doing it? Pretty much basic information for those that might not know you and what you do. man and i I could definitely see because i was checking out your spotify earlier i could see that you've been consistent with the releases and you got the couple projects and the single and everything going on so that's super awesome man and what do you think has kind of led you to be more consistent with how you're releasing things you know like i said you've had a few releases just in the first half of the year and i'm sure you got more coming up so you know what has kind of led to you know you wanting to stay more consistent with just releasing things for people to hear Yeah. Uh-huh. 
So what's the process of making the music and keeping that when I can still make more music? So I think that's like the that's like the that's like the idea behind being consistent in dropping music. Yeah, man. I, I completely relate to that 100%. I feel like a lot of creatives, sometimes they, they get caught up in, they want everything to be perfect. You know what I mean? They might have like a perfectionist mindset where they don't want to release everything and they don't want to be consistent with it. But I think you're you're right about that as far as, you know, you make something, you know, it's for the listeners too. You know what I mean? Like you make stuff for yourself, but it's like you want people to hear it. So you got to put it out there and just continue to drop and just be as, as, you know, like we said, as consistent with it as possible. And I think doing that is just going to, like you said, it's kind of like momentum. You start building momentum, you start seeing the results come in. Um, so that's super yeah. awesome, man. Uh, and what do, you, what do you think has been, like, the feedback you've gotten from these last few releases from listeners? Have you been getting a lot of good feedback as far as people that are hearing it or you're hearing things from your peers maybe? Like, how's that been going for you? So basically, you know, uh, everything that I've been doing is being, you know, is being on a wrong like self. I do almost everything all by myself. Aside from the fact that I do have a couple of my peers who are like supporting me, you know, uh, trying to help put the music out there. So the music has been good, and the rest of them get the show price. You know, as in positive, other people, you know, talking about how. You know, because I'm, 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 I was born in a Christian of my group as a Christian. You know, one of my, you know, what so I don't know, so know what saying, uh, he actually used my music, you know, whenever he wake up in the morning, like watching and stuff like that, you know. So that kind of like, you know, because that's the essence of making music, you know, so even so, you know, so to, to elect so, to elevate people so, to make them feel happy. So uh, I have one of few people who are saying, you know, who are giving me such a feedback fulfilling at the same time and at the same time I make music that makes it best you know? mm. because like I say an EP and an album is comprising of different uh, different types of sound you know and uh, I think you know getting accolades from DJs that I don't know from nowhere you know people getting into my DM and saying oh they listen to my music and they do it some type of way and the records have been posted so far even though yeah my expectations were very, 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 very high. And I'm not going to go I'm not going to that. Uh, I mean, that's, that's dopamine of what I was expecting. But uh, the music is good. The people are loving it. And at the same time, you know, the audience are kind of like increasing. Uh, and I'm doing everything possible to, to make sure, I mean, I keep spreading the music because, uh, like they say, uh, Promotion never stops. You know, it just feels like uh, evangelizing never stops. Evangelizing, you know, to 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 souls. Aside from the fact that you want some souls, need to keep winning more souls for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you never stop. Well, so far so good. It's been good. It's been good. I feel good when I listen to my music, and people feel good too. My nephews, my cousins. Uh, on radio, people that I don't know from nowhere, you know, they get into my DM and say, oh, they found my page and they just want to say new text for the type of music that I make. And, you know, so those are like the athletes, those are like the, those are like the encouraging words that we get that makes us want to make more music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Basically, awesome. That's man. Yeah, man. And you got to keep spreading the good vibes, you know what I mean? I, I love yeah, that. Yeah. And, and that's... You know, that, I feel really listening to music. Yeah. Music is like a little coping mechanism for, for life in general. So, I mean, what else can I do when I have that key? I have to keep making good music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And that's, I, that's what really makes it the universal language, you know what I mean? Like, no matter where you're from, you hear a piece of music and you're like, I vibe with this. I enjoy this. You know what I mean? So that's super awesome that you're able to do that and that you've gotten that feedback as well. Um, and I think like we were talking about earlier with the consistency part, I think it'll just continue to grow over time and you'll see, you know, your fan base as it grows as well, just continuing to get the positive feedback and all that stuff, which is super awesome to have. Um, have you done a lot of live shows at all as far as like, especially with the new material, have you been doing different performances locally or elsewhere uh, to kind of like get your name out there in that way too? 
Yeah, I've been doing a couple of shows and uh, I still have plans of inviting on some local local club shows, you know, and interstate shows because, you know, this is Lagos, Nigeria, there are other neighboring states that kind of like, you know, that are very, very, very familiar with my type of sound. So that's like the plan for next month. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan for next month. I'm um, going to club talk, you know, still for, you know, uh, publicity like a PR, you know, for those who to like to the to the to the to the, to the venues that my music has been that it's made it into. You know, I say I don't keep it producing myself, producing my music to the people and performing my music out there. Yeah, so I've been on that. We we've been planning that me and my my living thing. So yes, that's awesome, man, and and that's gonna be great because. That really gives you another side to the songs that you make, I think, as well. When you get to see the reaction in person from the audience. Yeah, so that's going to be very exciting to get to perform the material. And, um, uh, you know, you never know who you're in front of, too. You know what I mean? When you're doing these performances, it could be people that know all your songs or it could be people that have never heard of you, but then they become a fan. You know what I mean? I think that's, as an artist, I think that's probably the biggest goal is to when you're doing live shows, if people can leave and say, you know, they're a fan now and they can go check out your material on like Spotify or Apple or whatever afterwards, I think that's like the biggest thing you can have. Um, so it definitely opens up an, a whole new world of opportunities. So early congrats on that, man. Cause I think that's great. And I think, you know, continue to do that and continue to get out there. And um, that's a lot of cool opportunities on the horizon for you for sure. Hey, hope you're enjoying the episode so far. I just wanted to take a quick minute out to let you know how you can become a monthly supporter of the show. So if you click on the show description in your podcast platform, you'll see the words support this podcast toward the bottom and you can follow that link to sign up. You have the options of donating a dollar, five dollars or ten dollars a month and that'll be used towards making the show a better experience for you as the listener. Uh, That means new and exciting guests, giveaways and a lot more that we can continue to provide for you. So feel free to click that link and check it out or visit anchor.fm backslash proven knowledge backslash support to contribute today. And for now, let's get back into the episode. And is there any more music that we can expect as well, like new music? Because like I said, I know you've been dropping a lot recently, but uh, I assume you've been recording some new stuff as well. So do you want to reveal anything to the listeners that we can be on the lookout for? got to give something for the summer for the summer season for sure for people Yeah, man. 
got to got to just keep it pushing and keep it going so i'm definitely excited to hear them when they whenever they drop and um i know you said you do a lot of go ahead Yeah, it's like right. Oh, yeah. It's like right before it gets to where like it would be perfect. You're like right at that, toward the, like right past the middle ground. You're like you feel really good about it, and now it's time to let it go. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love that, man. That's super awesome, and that's that's really a good rule of thumb, I think, as a creative. Because like I said earlier, it's it's like you you can't really be in the perfectionist mindset. You got to be just continuing to put put your best foot forward and. Just as long as you feel good about it, it's like there's a chance someone else is going to feel good about it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely love right. that, man. Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. And um, last few questions here, and these are ones I ask on every episode. Uh, the first one is if you could go back 10 years ago, maybe give yourself a piece of advice, maybe not change anything at all, what do you think you would do? If I could go back 10 years ago, give myself a piece of advice. Uh, it would be uh, uh, I would actually have been going out more, you know, uh, networking more. Aside from the fact that you know, uh, you're gifted as a musician, you know, in these days, you actually need uh, like a good network to put your music out there. You know, it doesn't have to be the music and you being you listening with your parents and just a couple of people in your community. You, know, you, you, you have to think about a business aspect, you know. Uh, I should have been able to, you know, think about a business aspect a long time ago than what it is right now. Now I'm more knowledgeable than, than what it was before, like, let's say, five, seven years ago. So that's what I could have said, like, I could have, you know, uh, get myself more in tune with the business app. Aside from the fact that, you know, I make this music, it's just my soul, it makes me happy, and it makes people around me happy. That's like, you know, that's people around me are like, like, you know, they feel good about it. Not, not just for the fact that maybe they're close to me, they feel really good about it. Because I actually tell people, if it doesn't feel good, let me know. And, you know, I have, like, just one or two people who are, like, who I know, like, they didn't have good years of music. Uh, so, basically, it could have been, like, for your question, uh, I could have been more in tune with the business aspect, and, you know, the networking aspect, of, mm-hmm. you know, putting your music out there. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it could have been. It's definitely, it's definitely, like, finding the way to keep the artistic side with the business side balanced, too. You know, which is always yeah. difficult. So it's yeah. I definitely because, I feel you on that one. Because the artistic side I've been I've been on the artistic artistic side, you know, like just so all oh, not you know, giving attention to the business aspect. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's kinda of like weight on the music itself. Because about about an hour ago I was listening to a mix. A DJ mix of my song, and I'm like, yo, this music is like so good. And why am I not having like one million audience yet? Mm. So, 
it just seems like, oh, maybe it was because I couldn't uh, really network, you know, like our excuse because I was just blocking, making the music, not thinking of how I would, you know, have them listen to the radios and all that. I just, I just used to feel like, like they used to say, uh, good music would sell itself. Now, nah, good music would sell itself right now. You have to look for avenues and means to get it out there. Mm -hmm. For the people to listen. So, yeah, basically that's it. That's it. Yeah, man. I couldn't, I couldn't have said that any better myself. That's for sure. And it's definitely about just finding the balance. And I know everybody has different situations, but you're absolutely right. You got to find different ways to make it happen. So I definitely love that. And if we flip yeah. it then and we say 10 years from now, uh, where do you think you envision yourself in music, in life, all that stuff? 10 years from now, basically, I should have, uh, I should have my, my own. Uh, academy, like like a music company, right? You know, to not your to not your talent, and uh, you know, give back. To I think that's the only way of giving back to society because I actually always want to put people up, you know, because uh, I'm time to teach like like a younger ones coming, like younger musicians and artists, like like the business aspect, not just you being artistic. You know, you have to know this is business. First, is it, I mean, it's the artistic aspect. You have to be very good at what you do, you know. But at the same time, you know, the business aspect has to be solved because you make it the money to the boss to get the equipment, like studio and all that. So, in 10 years' time, having the leverage to, you know, to turn out talent to the world and uh, being like, that musician that the whole world recognizes as the one who uses music to, you know, to uplift his soul, to, to give hope to those without hope, and to entertain people, you know. And I just want to be like that all round positive guy with his music. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to, like, to, to, to let people know that their dreams are valid. A billion reasons to believe that your dreams are valid. Once you have this vision, it's not like you're forcing it, not because of like the paparazzi. Basically, I'm not doing this because of the paparazzi, because of the flashy lifestyle. Even though it's you know, those are parts, you know, the things that come with it. But I just want, I just want to be happy, and I want to be, I, I want to be happy with my music. The next ten years from now, basically, that's it. I should be able to like fly around the world to the end of the world with my music, you know, with the music, with the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Basically, that's awesome. I want my music to be, I want that music, my music to be like a school of hope because music gave me hope. And that's another great way to give back too, like you said about just you know letting the younger generation know it's possible too, because that's super important, and I think that's been. It's probably been important for you. It's been important for me as well, just hearing artists that I grew up on, hearing them, knowing that I could do the same and then just doing it. You know what I mean? So to be able to do that for someone else, that's the most important thing as well. So I love that, man. And I think just, you know, you being as positive as you are with everything, I think that's going to always come back full circle. You know what I mean? So I think that's super great, man. And, and I definitely commend you on that. And do you have any yes. final words of wisdom today for the listeners? Uh, uh, follow your heart. And when I say follow your heart, as long as whatever you are doing is, is good for yourself and humanity, I think you're on the right path. Because You're not going to live forever, right? 
house and live your house and pull them good. Yeah. Now, I mean, pull your house and live good and be good people around you and live in peace with everyone around you. Basically, I think I don't want to talk too much. You know? <laughs> your house. Yeah, like, follow your heart, be good people around you. Find you supposed to live in peace with everyone around you. And make sure you you give out all you have. Because at the end of the day, you're not living. You're not living this world alive. So why would you hold all those blessings, all those gifts that you have? Express yourself. Exactly, man. You got to show the world your gifts. And I think that goes a long way every single day. So, every man, day. man, I really appreciate it, man. That's all I have for you today. But once again, I want to thank you for even, you know, getting in touch and wanting to be on here and just keep doing your thing, man. I, I really think what you're doing, spreading positivity and putting out great music is super awesome. So keep up the good work, man. And I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I mean, I've been listening to your podcast. Uh, ever since I got to this week, and it's been, it's been good and awesome. You know, the knowledge, I've, I mean, I've learned a couple of stuff while listening to your podcast, and thanks for giving uh, artists like us a, like an avenue, uh, a platform to showcase ourselves and talk about our music and our experience and, and to learn as well, and to as well share our knowledge, like what I was saying. Express the share. Mm-hmm. Share whatever you have to the world because you never know who you who would listen to, to, to what you say there and get inspired by what what they just said from you. So thanks for having me right here. I appreciate this a lot. Yeah, absolutely, Thank man. You. Absolutely. Thanks for listening and uh thanks for staying up late because I know you're uh I know it's pretty late out there. But thank you so much, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for listening today. That was episode 162. We'll be back this time next week. As always, hit the support button on your podcast streaming platform if you'd like to send us funds. And feel free to leave us that five-star rating if you enjoyed today's episode. So we'll see you then. Thanks, everyone.